The official launch of the competition took place on Tuesday afternoon in Georgetown, where representatives of the sponsor and participating teams were on hand. The 16 teams have been equally placed in four groups. Group A comprises Ghana Defence Force, Georgetown Football Club, Pele and Northern Rangers, while Group B e has Western Tigers, Rhythm Squad, Beacon and Black Pearl. Group C is made up of Fruta Conquerors, Police FC, Kamtung and Eastville, while Group D will see rivalry among Buxton, Santos, Flamingo and Order and Discipline. Chairman of the Competitions Committee of the GFA, Otis James, spoke at the launch. It has been a long time since the cry at the GFA is football. So I'm so pleased to have something like this happening at the GFA. Uh, myself and the rest of the members of the competition committee, Mr. Faisal Khan, Junior Forrester, Mr. Bob, Mr. Akram Sabri, we all came together to put this wonderful competition together. Let's name the Stag Bay Revival Cup. It's a tournament played over 16 days, 56 matches, the wrong robin format, and then the quarterfinals that start from a knockout setup. But eight teams go through to the quarterfinals. Two teams coming out from each group, four groups. The competition is the first undertaking of the recently installed Interim Management Committee of the GFA, headed by Trevor Williams. It's part of our mandate to see football played again in an organized and, of course, sustainable manner in Georgetown and so competitions are going to be high on our agenda. We wish to thank the GFF also for playing a very integral role and of course Stag Beer for coming on board with this Revival Cup. Uh, the work of the management committee, the IMC, is cut out and um, at this time I wish to say that we are very happy to have started this process and have football being played while we continue to work to sort out um, and stabilize the issues in the GFA. President of the Ghana Football Federation, Wayne Ford, welcomed the return of competitive on-field action in the city. We can all agree that football in Georgetown has been long overdue. It is pointless for us to get into the reasons why we are at this stage, but what I think we should do is concentrate our energies in developing a sustainable program over the next couple of months, next couple of years. We have seen many of our most talented and gifted young players being deprived of the opportunity to do what they enjoy doing most, which is playing football. I'm very happy that Anson McCall has been able to partner with us to bring this tournament off. It takes a leap of faith for a sponsor to come into an environment that has been dormant for this long. Many may question whether there is any commercial value existing any longer in the GFA football setup. I dare say yes, there is. But it would require the collective efforts of all of the stakeholders, more so the clubs, the players, and the officials. We have to deliver a product that is worthy of the investment Anson McCall has committed and the investment that the Ghana Football Federation will make. Marketing representative Sewan Magaral said Anson McCall Trading is overly excited to be the title sponsor of the tournament, which has a top prize of $500,000. I mean, football is a means of bringing people together, and it is ranked as the number one sport in the world. I mean, we've seen in this World Cup 2018 tournament the excitement and the impact it had on the planet. I mean, we've seen through the World Cup that T-Mark is a paramount importance. And this is what football is all about. Even the best players need support of others. That's why we at Stackberry is supporting this initiative. And we are longing for the day sooner rather than later to see Guyana participating in a bigger tournament, an international tournament. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Afanash Ramsay.